about energy transfers. Now, if I take this ball and lift it up, I give it gravitational potential energy. Then when I let it go, that gravitational potential energy is turned into kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is greatest when the ball is just about to hit the ground. Okay? So gravitational potential energy turns into kinetic energy as the ball is falling. When the ball hits the ground, some of that energy is lost as sound, it makes a sound, and most of the energy is turned into elastic strain energy as the ball is deformed at the bottom of its bounce. Okay? Some of that energy then gets turned into heat, but most of it comes back as kinetic energy and the ball bounces back up again. So the cycle is gravitational potential energy turns into kinetic energy, turns into elastic strain, some of it is lost as sound and heat, then it's returned to kinetic energy, and then finally to gravitational potential energy when it comes to the top of its bounce. Right. Energy transfers in power stations. In a power station, you take the chemical energy from the fuel, you burn the fuel in a boiler to create kinetic energy in steam. This steam is then used to turn a turbine, which creates kinetic energy in the turbine. This turbine drives a generator, which makes electrical energy. Now, a generator is basically, simply, in simplification, it's a magnet inside a coil of wire. And as you rotate the coil of wire, or you rotate the magnet, you get crossing lines of electromagnetic flux. You get crossing lines of magnetic flux. And what this produces is electricity in the wire. OK, now, Sankey diagrams. We're going to talk about a light bulb. In a Sankey diagram, this line here represents the total energy that you put in. So we're putting in 100 joules of electrical energy into our light bulb. Now, all of the energy that gets bent off, all of the energy that gets bent off is the wasted energy that's no use to us. So 95 joules of this energy that we put in gets bent off as heat and is wasted. Only 5 joules get through to the other side. Only 5 joules is useful to us, doesn't get wasted, doesn't get bent off. So what's the efficiency of this? The efficiency of a process is the useful output over the total input times by 100. So in this case, we put in 100 joules of electrical energy, but we only get 5 joules of useful light out. So 5 joules of light divided by 100 joules of electrical energy times 100 gives us 5% efficiency. Thank you very much.